Hallelujah. Okay, so here we are at Shiloh. Great to see Raya's here today. Hallelujah. First time we've seen Raya over this school. Hallelujah. And uh, yeah, you can give her a clap. And uh, good to see everybody back here again this morning. Praise the Lord. Who's been enjoying the school? Who's uh, found these prayer times have been excellent? Yeah. And uh, who knows that God is hearing us? Hallelujah. But who also knows we need to persevere? Hallelujah. So it's what we're going to continue to do again today. So let's, let's stand again. Let's enter in. Let's, uh, let's begin to call on the name of Jesus, even to help us to get in alignment with his will, with his purpose here this morning, what he wants us to pray, what he wants us to be in supplication for and intercession. The, the verses, you, you just be get, getting in the spirit. I'm just going to read to you these verses out of 1 Timothy chapter 2. Some of you know them off by heart, but uh, you don't need to go there. But just let's just be entering in right now, because as we enter in with the mediator, we end up interceding for the things that are on his heart. Amen. Amen. And so Paul the Apostle said to Timothy, Therefore I exhort, first of all, that supplications, prayers, intercessions, giving of thanks be made for all men. For kings and all who are in authority, or all who are in a prominent place, could be translated as, that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and reverence, or all dignity and respect. For this is good and acceptable in the sight of God our Saviour, who desires all men to be saved and to come to the knowledge of the truth. For there is one God, and one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus, who gave himself a ransom for all to be testified in due time, for which I was appointed a preacher and an apostle. I am speaking the truth in the Messiah and not lying, a teacher of the Gentiles in faith and truth. Hallelujah. And so this is Paul's exhortation, the Apostle Paul's exhortation for us. First of all, that this is what we can give ourselves to. Who wants to lead a quiet and peaceable life? Amen. That doesn't mean boring. That means in it. That means a, a settled life. Amen. A non a non anxious, panicky life. <laughs> Hallelujah. So let's let's lift up our hearts to Jesus. Jesus, we come to you as the mediator of the new covenant. We come to you as the one mediator between God and man. Himself, the man Christ Jesus. We come to you as that one who was a ransom for all. And and you're to be testified. Who you are is to be testified in due time. Jesus, we present ourselves to you this morning. We present our bodies to you this morning. We present our lives to you this morning. We present our mouth, our hearts to you this morning. We present every part of our being to you this morning. To be used by you to release your will in the earth as it is in heaven. God, you taught us to pray our Father who is in heaven. Hallowed be your name. And this morning we hallow your name. You're our Father and we hallow your name. We hallow the name of Jesus. We hallow the name, Lord God, of Yahweh Nissi, the banner over us, the banner of victory. Hallelujah. We, we honour that name which gives us the victory, which is a banner, which is a rod of victory over us. Hallelujah. Which is a rod of authority over us. <clears throat> we honour your name here this morning. Hallelujah. Let's just take a bit of time to honour the name. To hallow the name. So begin to, begin to hallow the name. Whatever name is of God, whatever way he's revealed himself through the scriptures, just let it come forth out of your mouth. Begin to hallow his name. Thank you that you are the God of peace. That there can be a deep, settled peace in our soul and in our life because you are there ruling and reigning. Lord Jesus, we thank you that you are our peace and you've caused all things to bow before you. We worship you in spirit and in truth. Lord Jesus, come be our guest. Come be our guest. We love you. We praise you. We worship you. Come, come and we will bow before you now 
and do exactly what you say. Hallelujah. Elect. Hallelujah. Thank you. Yes, let's bow before the Lord Jesus. Amen. Let's just honor his name. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You are the El Shaddai. You are the all-sufficient one for all circumstances. Lord, for all times in every way. You are the all in all. And Lord, we want to just worship you and thank you for all that you're doing in this nation at this time. And all that, Lord, you want to do in your church in preparing it to be the bride. And Lord, thank you. Our expectation is of you as the El Shaddai. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We honour your name, Lord Jesus. And even in the psalm that we read this morning, some awesome words that are say that Yahweh, we will love you with all our strength. Yahweh is my rock, my fortress, my deliverer, my strength in whom I trust, my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. I will call upon Yahweh, who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from my enemies. I called upon Yahweh, cried out to my God. He heard my voice, and my cry came before his ears. And then it goes on to see the, to describe the awesome things that God did in response to the ones who cried out to him. So we thank you, Lord God, today, that as we cry out to you, as we call upon your name, you hear us. And we thank you that you are our strength. You are that rock that is immovable and unshakable, that foundation. You are that fortress and that deliverer that we can come into and be safe. We thank you, Lord, that our trust is in you. You are that shield and you are that stronghold, that one who protects and delivers. And so we call upon you this morning because you alone are worthy to be praised. We lift our voices to praise your name and to honour you this morning. And thank you, Jesus, that your word says you will save us from all enemies, from all the unrighteousness, all the, the wickedness that is around about. As we call upon your name and cry out to our God, thank you that you hear us. Thank you that our cry comes to your ears. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We hallow you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Father. We lift up the name of Jesus in this land. And God, let the name of Jesus go through this land. Let the name of Jesus be known in this land. The, the name which is above every name, the name at which every knee bows, the name at which every tongue will confess that Jesus the Messiah is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Father, we thank you that all these, all these people, Lord Jesus, who, who are arrogantly opposed to your agenda, even all those ones will bow the knee to Jesus. Lord, even all those ones will confess that he is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Lord, we thank you that, it, that Lord Jesus, your, your rule is absolute. Lord, there is nothing that can, um, that can compete with it because, Jesus, you are supreme. You are the commander. You are the ruler of the kings of the earth. Nothing is too difficult for you. Nothing is, nothing is too hard for you. Hallelujah. You are the God who works miracles. You're the God who put Trump into the Oval Office. You're the God who put Scott Morrison into, be, into being the Prime Minister of this land of Australia. Jesus, you are the God who does miracles, even in democratic countries with people getting elected. God is still of your hand. You're the one who sways nations. You're the one who fulfills your purpose. Just as we heard yesterday from Miriam, God, the counsel of your heart stands forever. The, the counsel of Yahweh stands forever. The plans of your heart to all generations. Hallelujah. Thank you that you never change. And God, your plan for this generation remains the same. Hallelujah. And you will fulfill your plan through us, your people. Hallelujah. So thank you for the Spirit of God rising in your people. Thank you for the Spirit of God rising in these days, awakening our hearts. Lord, so we realize we were born for such a time as this. We were born to speak. And God, we continue to pray for our Prime Minister, Scott Morrison, to speak boldly, to speak truth boldly. God, to not take a backward step. Lord, he's got better, but there's still room for more. Hallelujah. God, we're just praying for Mr. Morrison. Just to be bold, to be courageous. God, to take on these left-wing commentators and journalists and, and opinion writers and, 
and, and, and people like this, Lord God, to not be scared of them, to not be just scared of saying a wrong thing, but just to speak from his heart, to speak truth from his innermost being. Hallelujah. And to take up the fight in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Jeff. Jeff. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. We look to you also as the Prince of Peace. You are the one who is Shalom. As we've been exploring, you are the King of Righteousness, the King of Salem, Jerusalem. You are the divine authority that smashes the authority of chaos. And we come to you today and we say, come and have your way. Come and have your way in each one of our hearts. Start in my heart, Father God, in this nation, in the machinations of evil that want to bring utter chaos. And we say, thank you, you have a kingdom plan that your will be done for your divine authority to be seen in the earth, even as we were speaking of yesterday, through your judgments, through your holy baptism of fire, coming down on the hearts of people who are crying out to you. We say thank you that in place of this rule and reign of chaos, your throne is established in the heavens. And you will have a people who have been in disobedience, whose hearts will turn to you, the righteous one, who will yearn for your wisdom, who will hunger and thirst for your righteousness and be filled, who will be poor in spirit. And we thank you, Father. I want to bless Scott Morrison. Bless our parliamentarians, bless leaders of churches, anyone who's been coward and, and under this evil influence that Father you would give a window of opportunity of a radical turning of hearts back to see you Jesus lifted high in your majesty, in your beauty, in your glory seated at the right hand of God the Father. You are altogether beautiful Father you are altogether good Good and your love endures forever and may you be known and loved and worshipped with true heart devotion in this nation that is worthy for your name and for us to fulfill your call and destiny to be part of the great south lands of the Holy Spirit. We cry out for this in your precious name that it would all be about you not be about us. In Jesus name, Amen. 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 Thank you Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Continue just to stir yourselves up in the Lord. Amen. Because we had some, we got into some good victory, but the, the battle's not over. <laughs> so let's continue. Continue to stir yourselves up in the Lord, in the Spirit. We're just calling out to God for this nation. Hallelujah for Australia, for the Prime Minister. Hallelujah for your breakthrough in the land. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Your word says that you gave grace to the Apostle Paul to preach the unsearchable riches of Messiah and to make all to see what is the fellowship of that mystery which God has hidden from the beginning who created all things through the Lord Jesus Christ to the intent that now the manifold wisdom of God will be made known through the church to the principalities and powers in the heavenlies. And Lord, your word says this is in accordance to your eternal purpose, which you've already accomplished in Jesus Christ. So Father, we, we, we pray today and we seek you, Lord, for that victory, for that fellowship of the mystery, for that, for that, for that fellowship of sons coming into the revelation of the Father through Jesus the Son. Lord, your word says that if you've seen Jesus, you've seen the seen the Father. Lord, we want to see the Father. We want to see God at work in our lives. We want to see God at work in those who confess your name and call themselves the church. We want to see you at work, Lord, in the nation because of the prayers of your people, Father. And Lord, most of all this morning, we, we stand in the gap for this nation. And Lord, we, we stand against those principalities and powers. We, we want to make known to them the manifold wisdom of God so that they become less powerful, day by day, bit by bit, moment by moment, month by month, year by year, 
Lord, because of your church rising up in this nation, the principles and powers will lose their power. They will be exposed as illegitimate rulers. They will be exposed as deceiving spirits. Lord, who have who, been deceived by Satan himself, that, that serpent of old. But Lord, your word says that you're going to give us the victory. That we're going to overcome the accuser of the brethren. That we're going to overcome him. Your word says that all the kingdoms of this world are going to become the kingdoms of our Lord and of his Messiah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, we proclaim your word today in the nation of Australia. We proclaim your word today, Lord. We proclaim the word of God over this nation that through the church, the manifold wisdom of God will be made known to the principalities and powers in the heavenly realm. Father, your word says this is in accordance this is in accordance to your will, which you've already accomplished in Jesus the Messiah, coming in the flesh, suffering and dying on the cross, and rising victorious from the grave, ascending into glory to sit at the right hand of God. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you and we praise you that, 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 this, that this has been completed already. And the church is to, is to make known that, 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 that min, manifold wisdom now. It has been made known through the church. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, that the, that the, that the things of darkness are being exposed. Lord, thank you that the things of darkness are being undone. They're being shown up. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for the things you even do in the, in, in, in the natural world in Australia in terms of media. And Lord, thank you for raising up an alternative to the ABC. Thank, thank you, Lord, for, for the strong voice. Not that we agree with everything they say, but anyway, thank you for the strong voice of Sky News and those various ones who speak out, who, who call the ABC to account, who call things as they are, exposing them. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And, and Lord, we just bless you this morning. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, God. Yes, God, we pray, Father, all over, through this land for people who call on the name of Jesus, for those who are believers, true believers in Jesus the Messiah. God, we pray for, for, a, for a gathering and assembling of ourselves together in rank, Lord, as an army. Father, we cry out to you for a, for a move of God among those that you would stir up the spirit of the remnant of your people. Could it is time to be building the house of God in our generation. Hallelujah. Father, we ask you for, for your, just for a move of God that causes those ones to rise up. God, that we meet each other, that we would find each other. God, that there would be a, a growing awareness in your church, in your body in Australia, of the battle that is at hand. Hallelujah. And how to go about in that battle, Lord Jesus. We pray for the raising up of disciples in this land. God, we continue to seek you for more disciples. God, more people willing to follow Jesus, more people willing to learn a lifestyle, more people willing to get trained and know how to truly live for Jesus on a daily basis. God, we pray for people who are zealous for the things of God to rise up in this land. Lord, who want to speak the truth boldly, who want to get out there and, and share the, the reality of the gospel, and who are, who, are, who are dissatisfied with sticking in the big setups and churches that are around the place that just want to follow Jesus unhindered, unfettered following Jesus and so God we pray for a release in this land God, a release of true disciples of Jesus the Messiah Hallelujah God we just thank you for them Lord we thank you for them coming forth Lord a, a multitude of disciples a multitude of disciples a multitude of disciples coming forth God, who have the Word of God in their heart, bind up the testimony. Seal the law among my disciples. Hallelujah. Many sons to glory. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. Yes, Father, we do. We thank you for this nation. Father, we, we thank you what's going on in this nation. Thank you that you're shaking it. Father, we thank you that you are sovereign and in control. Lord, we thank, we thank you that everything is under your control. Father, we do pray that, uh, that we would see your spirit move in this nation. 
Father, we pray that uh, you, your spirit, as you said you would do in the last days. Father, we ask for an outpouring of your spirit upon this nation, upon both saved and unsaved. Father, we pray for that rain that to fall down. Father, we pray for an abundance of rain, abundance of your spirit. Father, we pray for a spirit of repentance and a spirit of fear to come upon this nation, upon the leaders of this nation. Father, we ask that uh, there would be a turning of hearts to you, that through the fires and through the shaking, through the droughts, Lord, through the famines, through all the things that are happening, Father, we pray that people would turn to you, people would call upon your name, for your name is the only name that brings salvation, your name is the only name that saves, your name is the only name to which every other name has to bow the knee, and Father, we ask that uh, your name would be lifted up in this nation, that your leaders in this nation would stand up and would be filled with boldness, would have the backbone to, uh, to preach righteousness, to preach uh, repentance in the name of Jesus, that uh, your people and your leaders would stand against the tide of wickedness, that the voice of the gospel would be heard, that your name would be heard in this land once again. Lord, fill your people with boldness, we pray, in the name of Jesus the Messiah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I encourage you, just keep lifting up prayers. Hallelujah. Yes, and Jeremiah. Yeah, I don't, off by heart. Oh, I think it's almost on that page. In Jeremiah chapter 12, verse 5, it says, If you've run with the footmen, they've wearied you, then how can you contend with horses? And if in the land of peace in which you trusted they wearied you, then how will you do in the floodplain of the Jordan? So brethren, it's time for us to get running. Yeah, to toughen up, run with the horses. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, thank you Jesus that you're causing us to know how to stand in you in the midst of tribulation, Lord. To trust in you, to put, to put all our hope in you, Lord, for you are the one who brings salvation. You are salvation, Lord Jesus. Thank you for the many testimonies that have come out of the fires, Lord, of people who've called on your name and seen you intervene in a sovereign way. Thank you. There's even been a book compiled of those many testimonies that are coming in. And Lord Jesus, may it cause people to know that you are real, that and as they call on the name of the Lord, there is salvation. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus, that righteousness exalts a nation, but sin is a reproach to, many, to, to any people. Father, thank you that you are raising a standard of righteousness in our nation, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, that as people call on your name, that banner of righteousness is being raised up. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for shaking, but for doing a work that will cause our land to turn to you in a new way. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. See, this is a training school. And so part of that training is training how to pray. Amen. God's extending us. Sometimes it doesn't feel comfortable. You can be standing there and in your soul you're thinking, okay, when's it going to end and the songs are going to start. And, uh, yeah, and that's right at the, very, at the appropriate moment. But there's a breakthrough to happen. Amen. And God wants us to break through. Hallelujah. He wants us to break through in our hearts to learn how to extend ourselves in prayer. Hallelujah. To not just think, okay, we've done our time. Now things should be right in Australia, shouldn't they? No, but to really, <laughs> but to really enter in, amen, to enter into God's heart right now for the nation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do you believe that your prayers are powerful and effectual? That they're actually causing transformation and change? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To an outsider, it just looks strange. There's a lot of people speaking into the air thinking something's going to happen. But we know better. Hallelujah, because we're seeing someone who's invisible. Hallelujah.
Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Quite some years ago, a brother came here from Myanmar called Sawway too. Some of you might remember him. And uh, he was staying in, in our house. And we came home from Shiloh one school day and he said, you know, the thing about you Shiloh people is, when you pray, you believe that God's there listening to you. <laughs> so I've never seen that before. <laughs> Yes, love. Go for it. Yeah, I've also just had this verse as we've been praying coming that Jeremiah 23. Yeah. Behold, the days are coming, says Yahweh, that I'll raise to David a branch of righteousness. A king shall reign and prosper and execute judgment and righteousness in the earth. And in his days Judah will be saved and Israel will dwell safely. Now this is his name by which he will be called. Yahweh our righteousness and Jesus our Messiah has come he is the root and offspring of David he is that branch of righteousness and he is risen and seated at the right hand of God reigning a king shall reign and prosper he shall act wisely and execute judgment and righteousness in the earth and the awesome thing is in Jeremiah 33 the exact same prophetic word is spoken but then it says that this is the name by which she will be called, Yahweh our righteousness. And I just got this picture of where that royal mantle he's placed on us. Amen. His body, Christ and his body are one. And so yes, a king shall reign and prosper and execute righteousness and judgment in the earth. But it is through his people, that, that mantle on us. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. So let's stand and declare that Jesus forever you reign. A lot of the prayers this morning have been exalting Jesus to that high place of all power and authority. And so in this song, we're declaring that Jesus forever you reign. Jesus. He's exalted to the right hand of the majesty on high and all power and all authority are His. Amen. They belong to Him because He is God. Jesus is God manifested in the flesh. Amen. Jesus, Jesus, forever you
me profoundly that we've come beyond the veil we are beyond the veil because the veil has been torn amen the flesh of Jesus has been torn and we are beyond the veil and in that place we can behold the father we can behold his glory we've left our old life behind amen because we've come through the cross the cross was the door for us to come into his presence to come into his glory that's the place where our heart is free where we can fully experience the love of god where we can see our eyes are opened to see beyond the veil amen beyond the veil
reaches on. into the glory. Your cross was the door to come in to your presence, to be able to come and to stand on holy ground, to behold your beauty, to behold your radiance, to behold your majesty and power and authority face to face, Lord, no longer separated from you, but you have made us a way, Lord, into the holy of holies through your body, Lord Jesus, through your flesh that was torn. And Lord, we can stand now on holy ground and know Lord Jesus that you are here in the midst of us because your word says where two or three gathered there you are in the midst of them Amen. we worship you Jesus
my shepherd Yahweh is our shepherd and it was he himself the good shepherd who laid down his life for the sheep and he says um, Yahweh is my shepherd I shall not want he makes me to lie down in green pastures he leads me beside the still waters he restores my soul and he leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake this was because the good shepherd lay down his life for the sheep and he goes on to say yea though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death I will fear no evil for you are with me your rod and your staff they comfort me you prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies we're remembering this is the meal that brings healing it brings healing of the soul, brings healing for the spirit, and it brings healing for the body. And he goes on to say, You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. 
It was because the Good Shepherd, Yahweh, my Shepherd, went to the cross. And now he prepares a table with, uh, before us in the presence of our enemies. He anoints our head with oil. Because of the cross, he poured out his spirit. And my cup runs over. Our cup runs over. Uh, our life is full to the brim. There's an abundance of the spirit of God uh, because of the cross. And he says, surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of Yahweh forever and this is because Yahweh our good shepherd went to the cross and so today we want to partake of Yahweh himself we remember his death we remember his, uh, his suffering but because of that we can be we can know a full salvation and as we eat and drink together, let's, um, let's believe for that, that Spirit of God to touch us, to bring further healing, a further restoring of soul and body. And um, because He has prepared a table before us in the presence of our enemies. And He's anointed our head with oil and our cup runs over. Our cup runs over. So let's feed. Let's feed on Jesus, our Good Shepherd today. Amen. Mm. Yes, Father, we thank you. We thank you for the, uh, the, um, the bread. And we thank you for the juice. We thank you for your broken body and we thank you for your shed blood. And Father, we, we have eaten and drunk in remembrance of you. And we ask, Father, that as we feed on you today, you would feed us, you would heal us, you would restore us. And we would experience the very life of Yahweh himself working in and through our bodies. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.